All right. So over the holidays, I got my new iPhone. Okay. The iPhone 12 Pro. All right. Is now. everything you expected? It's not. No. It's not everything I expected, actually, at all. It is the first iPhone in a long line of iPhones, because that's... I had my well my first smartphone ever was an Android because that's all I could afford and no I was on C Spire at the time and AT&T was the, the original carrier of the iPhone you couldn't get an iPhone unless you were an AT&T customer mm -hmm. I jumped ship to AT&T so I could have an iPhone and I've been with AT&T and iPhones ever since so my second smartphone and everyone after that has been an iPhone this is the first iPhone the first one that I've had buyer's remorse on now, would you like to guess why? You know me better than most students. Um, no home button, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. No home button. My mom calls that the belly button, but... The belly the button. button. Nice. It's like, there's no belly button on this phone. Like, talking talk about the home button? Um, <clears throat> it's too big. Oh my god. Lewis. All right, and he rolls his eyes. All right, now. Which one did you get This again? is the 11, Pro, 11 Max. Pro Max. This is the 12 Pro, and clearly it is smaller. Okay? Right. But I came from an iPhone 8, which is even smaller than this, like by about a half inch. Not only that, it's thinner and way lighter. This is heavy. Like these newer phones are, they're heavier. Yeah. Noticeably heavier. Mm -hmm. it, when I'm holding this, I cannot, I can no longer stretch my thumb all the way to the top to what grab something. There's an easy way to fix that. I don't remember exactly how to do it. <clears throat> but like... So Miss Lewis says, I need to put a pop socket on the back. I'm not gonna have you a pop socket. A pop socket on I'm not gonna have a pop socket on my phone, making it even thicker in my pocket it's literally gonna add like m that much space not even and like then i wouldn't be able to put it on a wireless charger which i do like wireless charging you so, could uh, potentially you just have to find a strong enough wireless charger i did uh talk with ally over the break for just mm -hmm. a second on text and she said that i needed to get over it because yeah, my I other agree. because my iphone 8 was and i quote she threw shade a dinosaur so yeah. you had a dinosaur I mean, phone it's time to like just I got get rid used of to something age. new and be oh, okay with it right yeah I agree I agree now the screen is the bomb like it's the 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 look of the screen I don't care about the size you like I know everybody cool. else yes amazing amazing the cameras undoubtedly are just ridiculously awesome the screen itself, the actual like clarity of what do they call these screens? Aren't they called something? I don't know. I don't know. Retina, maybe. It's like the retina. It's like the retina screens on the new on the new Max. I think it's. I think they have the retina technology in them. Anyway, compared to the iPhone 8, the screen looks phenomenal. The battery life, way way better. The camera system, way way better. But all that comes at a cost, because it weighs way, way more. Well, maybe not way, way more, but almost probably double what my iPhone 8 weighed. Like, it was noticeably different. And the stretched body, which is bigger, I don't like big phones. So, a little bit of buyer's remorse. I feel big. like I should have gone with the 12 no Mini. the Mini. Oh, my God. You'd be like, it's too small. That's I, what you would say. I would... I, I've never complained that my screen sizes were Lose, too small. Your thumbs are going to be too big for it. I don't. I don't think my thumbs will be too big for it. 